axe. A saw is a great tool to have in the woods. It's great for cutting wood quickly and uh, relatively easily. Uh, whereas an axe is good for splitting wood and for shaping wood, the saw is good for simply cross-cutting it quickly and safely. So what I have here is my takedown buck saw, which I've made out of some scrap maple pieces using a, a band saw and a drill press. Here I have the blade wrapped up in a newspaper tube. This is a 24 inch blade which can do quite a bit of cutting. And uh, this piece is the crossbar. In the bag here I have the two vertical pieces. This one with the handle in it. And there's where the crossbar connects. This has a good comfortable handle. And the other side has no handle, it's just squared off. And uh, both of these pieces have cutouts to reduce the weight and to increase the stiffness of the pieces in the direction of the tension. And then in the bottom of the bag, I have the pieces for the turnbuckle and the tensioning cord. First we'll put the, uh, the saw together. Be careful with this blade because uh, for the most part these are quite sharp and can do quite a bit of damage. This one I've uh, just given a light touch up to really bring out that razor edge. So we line up the hole in the blade with the one in the handle and stick the bolt in and then put on the nut. And this way there's no way that that saw blade can fall out or any anything like that when you're cutting. And then you take the uh, center piece and uh, I glued, I drilled the holes a little bit off center, so the piece fits in better one way than the other, but it doesn't really make a difference. And then once that's fit, you can simply lay this cord. This is a parachute cord, fake parachute cord, but it works just as well for something like this. And uh, I've just used a round file to make a notch in each end. And then you I first uh, place this piece in here to get the initial tension. I just twist that around a few times until it's good and tight. And uh, you almost want the, the blade tight enough to be musical sounding when you pluck it. So you get the tension good and strong in there. Then I just take this stick here. I place it right there, then I have a good tight blade, and if I want, I can set it like this and tighten it a little bit more using the stick to add extra torque. So now I have a good buck saw, 24 inch blade, it's very rigid. There you go. Homemade buck saw that works very well.